Hey people, welcome back to my daily tutorials. This time it's how to draw this beautiful pin-up style girl with a ponytail. So we're going to draw the exact image on the right and this is how we're going to do it. Start with a circle, like so. Bring curve line down and then curve up into that circle to create that sort of jaw space. So it's all about building up the sort of shape of the head at the minute. Bring this curve line down the front and the curve line through the middle of the whole thing. It gives you a good sort of position in where you're going to put the eyes and where the nose and mouth are going to go. A circle on the side and a line down. You know, it's called the Loomis technique. You know, sort of getting the position of everything in the face in the right sort of positioning. Bring the curve line down, come from the back of the head like so, and it's going to create the back of the shoulder and the part of the neck. Curve line here. Bring the circle bed, kind of build up the base of it, and kind of work around that circle in a nice curve. That line in the middle, we're going to divide into sort of five sections, and we're going to make sure that section on the right hand side is a bit thicker because of the angle of the head. Now in section one and three, we're going to do these two nice curve lines and make sure there's a nice flick at the end, you know, you want that kind of nice eyelash coming off the edge. Do two curve lines coming down from the bottom to around the outside of the eyes, like so. Now draw a line halfway through that bottom half, then halfway through that and a little line just underneath. This is going to give us a position for the nose, the mouth. So you're bringing this kind of V-shaped curve coming around that eye, curving down to that line, and a little loop on the side to create a nostril. If you bring your line down from the other eye, it gives you the right position where you want to put that side nostril. I'm going to bring this little curved line just around the top of the eye now, just to kind of give the sense of freediness and bringing the pupils in the eyes. Drawing lines down, roughly from about the centre of the eyes, all the way down to the other line, it's going to give you the rough positioning where you want your mouth. So we're going to put it in there. Now remember, the face is a bit of an angle here, so the lip's not going to be perfectly symmetric. You're going to get a sort of loop here and it's going to curve back off. Then to uh, create two curved lines just underneath there, just to create that second part of the bottom lip. So you see now I've got the eyebrows in there. So one eyebrow comes off that line just coming off the nose, and if you bring a straight line out from the nose, you get this side part for the other side of the other eyebrow. And if you curve around the tips going back to the eye, it gives you the sort of position you want. Now we've got this big curve going across the top of the head and a line just coming above the eyebrows. It's going to give us that fringe. So we're basically just putting up that space now. A little curved line off the side, I'm going to bring out the side part of the hair. So you're going to build it up in section by section. Rather than strand by strand, we build it up section by section. And this is how you make fun looking hair, you know, by building it up, you know, gradually. You know, focusing more on the shapes of the way the hair flows rather than the actual hair strands to begin with. You know, the hair strands will get too lost. So you've got this curve, and we've got this curve coming down the side now, and kind of build up that base for the ponytails. It goes around the back, and it's going to curve around to the other side now. So you're creating this kind of little looping motion, a little curve line back, just create the edge. And then you circle, but it's just coming down the side where it sort of goes down the other part of our arm. So you see, it all comes together really nicely now. now I've got this uh, curve going from that shoulder all the way down to the back. And it's just going to give it a part of her dress, you know, just where she's got a jumper on, where it comes down. And now we're going to start getting the uh, thicker line work. So you're going to get your pencil out, you know, go much harder, darker now. So you're going to go around the eyelashes, create like a really thick upper eyelash. You want to make sure the upper eyelash is really thick compared to the bottom one. You know, some dark lines around the outside of the eye, create a little highlight inside the eye as well. And you want to make sure the highlight's on both sides in the exact same position, so on the left and the right. Just go around the nose, around the mouth now. So we've pretty much gone over everything we've just done there, just in darker detail. Now go around here, just around the outside of the face. Now we add a bit of cheekbone here, so we're curving outside that shape and curving back into it. And it's a little curve just for that chin as well. Let's go around that shoulder a bit, so yeah, everything's all in there. So we're just building it up now. We're just kind of sort of, we're sort of like taking away all the bits we want and sort of separating this from the background part so we all get rid of it later on. Put your eyebrows there. And the eyebrows have got a black fade up for the minute, just come from the inside fading outwards, and a little bit of shadow just above the eyelids and just below the eyelids as well. A little bit of shadow just in the lip. Now you see I've got a line just down the centre part of that top lip, and it's darker on one side than it's the other, and that gives a sense of freediness, freediness on both sides. And a little bit of shadow just underneath the nose as well. Now I'm going to go up to that top section of the hair we've done, and just following that guideline, we're going to start making these curved flicks. You know, I'm going to start with these base lines, they're going to create up the base lines for the hair. So thicker bold lines, and then come in with some thinner strands to create detailed ones, like so. So you've got the bold lines and you've got the thin ones in between to kind of build up volume and sort of create a bit more sort of dimension to it. So some on the side here, I just picked out some sections following a general shape, making some bold lines, creating like a few sort of nice big bold strands, and then from that I'm going to use thinner line details to sort of build it up and bulk it up in between. Just like so. Now sometimes less is more hair, you don't have to go too crazy. Remember, you haven't got to draw every single hair strand. You know that every single hair strand is not necessary. So just add some eyelashes now. 
You know, I've had quite a lot, you know, when it's a nice thick luscious eyelashes. A little shadow just underneath her chin as well. Not in the eyebrows, you can see I'm just having a few more sort of little line details, just give a bit of direction to it, so diagonal lines coming inwards. Just give you a bit more shape to it. Now I've got rid of the background detail, and I was drawing those little lines down the bottom on a uh, jumper. Now I'm going to start adding the tattoos and a little bit of shading throughout the hair as well. So you can see just little spaces where it sits underneath. I've got a little X on her cheek that I like, and I'm doing like a rose on her shoulder. I'm going to put a nice mandala on her back of her back. On the back of her back? On her back. <laughs> right. So you're just building up that basic old school row shape. You know, if you like that, I've got tutorials for those kind of things as well. So just building it up bit by bit, putting in those leaves. I'm going to start with a mandala on the back. So you've got a nice little curves there. You know, the tattoos aren't necessary, but you know, I love tattoos. And I'm a tattoo artist, so. So I've got the curve lines around there, little loops, some other loops come around and line around the outside part of that. Now mandala is all about building up shapes. You know, if you'd like to see mandala tutorials, let me know. I can always do a few. You know, they're always fun to do, so I'm always happy to do those. And once you got to this stage, you know, just darken up anything you feel you need to darken up and just add a little bit of extra shading in places just to reinforce in it and make it a bit more on show. But yeah, there you have people. That is how you draw a nice beautiful pin-up girl with a ponytail. Hope you like it. Comment, like, subscribe, check out my channels. I am the Broken Puppet and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>